In just 7 minutes, we will demonstrate how easy it is to create a stunning, React.js based website using ChatGPT. Begin by developing a detailed prompt that outlines the website you envision. For our demonstration, we will create a simple web page featuring a header, main content area, and footer. Visualize your design, and then communicate your ideas to ChatGPT via the message box. Specify your desired header components in the prompt. For this example, our header will feature an intuitive drop-down menu for category selection, a centrally placed company name, and an eye-catching logo in the right corner. Don't forget to include details about the background design to enhance the visual appeal of your header. Next, outline the requirements for the main section of your webpage. In this case, we want a dynamic area that displays videos based on the selected category, as well as a designated space for affiliate marketing content. The more information you provide, the better ChatGPT can tailor the layout to your preferences. Finally, describe your ideal footer in the prompt. We will create a footer that mirrors the header's design and showcases a copyright notice in the center. Click on the Send button. ChatGPT will now generate a response based on the prompt. The first generated response provides the code from our prompt in two files, the app.js file and the app.css file. We would like the code to be broken out into a few more modules so we elect to regenerate the prompt to see if we get a response that we like better. This time ChatGPT breaks the software into more modules. A header.js file, main.js file, footer.js file, and app.js file have been generated. Now, that we have the files generated for our web page, we can bring the files into our chosen development environment and create the web page. In this video, we will be using the JetBrains PHP Storm development environment. Other development environments such as WebStorm, Visual Studio Code or Eclipse could be used just as easily. We choose PHP Storm for this video because of its code completion functionality and its built-in integration with Node.js. The Node integration allows for the npm command prompt to live inside the development environment. We will first create a new React.js project by specifying that the project is a React.js project and giving the project a name. Clicking on the Create button will kick off the initialization of the project and loads into the project the dependency files for React.js and the initial template files. Let's now walk through the process of adding the software generated by ChatGPT. We will start with the header file. First, we create an empty JavaScript file and name it header.js. We also select to add it to a Git repository. Next, I pull up the chat GPT code for the header.js file and click on the copy button. We take the copied code and paste it into the empty header.js project file. We repeat the same process to create and populate the main.js file and the footer.js file for our web page project. For the app.js file, we don't need to create a new file, since the app.js file was automatically generated when the project was created we do need to edit the existing file. To do this, we open up the app.js file and delete the pre-populated content. We now copy the app.js file generated by ChatGPT into the app.js project file in the development environment. With these files now created and updated in our project folder, we can run the application and check for any errors. In PHP Storm, we click on the Start button to launch our web page to the local host of the web browser. In the browser window, a warning is shown indicating that there are problems with compiling the code for the web page. The first set of errors indicates that we are missing the .css files that are referenced in the main.js file, header.js file, and footer.js file that we created. To generate these missing files we can return to chat GTP and add a new prompt to our existing prompt asking for the missing .css files. Let's first, ask chat GPT to create the main.css file. The main.css file is generated. We can copy the response from chat GTP. We can then navigate back to PHP Storm. We create a new style sheet file called main.css and paste the content from chat GTP into the file. Returning to the web browser, we see that the error for the missing main.css file is no longer showing. We can repeat the same process for the missing header.css file and the footer.css file. 
ChatGPT uses self-attention mechanisms to retain the context of the conversation. This means that even though we are submitting a new prompt for each style sheet file that we want to have generated, ChatGTP in a sense remembers the initial prompt for our web page design and uses that context to help generate the style sheet files that we are requesting be generated. When we review the browser, after adding the .css files, we see one remaining error. The error indicates that we are missing the image file for the logo that we want to include in the header. We need to add the logo that we want into the source folder of our web page project. We navigate to a folder that contains some previously created logos. We select the logo that we want to use in our web page and copy the image into the source folder of our web page. We rename the image so that the image name matches the name of the image file in our header.js file. Returning to the browser, the compile errors are no longer shown and we see our design web page. The header contains the information we requested. If we click on the categories button, a drop-down menu is shown with the categories that were outlined in our initial prompt. The footer also is designed as specified in our prompt. The main content area exists but does not include any content. This is also apparent if we inspect the code of the main section. It would be nice if the main content section contained YouTube videos that a visitor of the web page could click on and view. Let's ask ChatGTP to create the container to hold the YouTube video clips. The code is generated by ChatGTP. From the code generated by ChatGTP, we can copy the relevant code and paste it into the main.js file. We copy and paste this code into the video container. The next piece of code is to declare the video source for the YouTube video. After this code has been copied and pasted, we replace the YouTube URL generated by ChatGTP with an actual YouTube video URL. The process is outlined and demonstrated in this video to create a web page using ChatGPT can be used to continue to build out a dynamic, responsive web page just like what we are illustrating in this last clip. You now have the skills required to develop a web page using ChatGTP.